Alright people and welcome back in the Korosu. So it's been a few days since I recorded because I have to grind. Everybody's on level 75 <laughs> which will be hopefully enough. So let's go. Hello Nico. Your tournament match is starting soon, but you still have some time for preparation. Are you ready for tournament battle? Yes I am. Alright, I'll take you there. Good luck with your battle. Are we leaving? Okay, let's do this. It's me out. A live from the out live from the outlaw plateau in Georgia's Northwest Canto. This is the Pokemon League tournament. And Mike the Meow, the world's only known talking meow Pokemon. <laughs> you probably remember me from my successful acting career. I'm humbled to be given the opportunity to host such a wonderful tournament. Or hail the outlaw. We got a nice acoustic crowd on hand to watch this battle as well as millions watching on TV from around the globe. Anyways, let's get it let's get the, to the opening match of this exciting tournament. To the tip of the exciting tournament, we got a great matchup. To my right is Nicole, she's a young girl who is well known in the Seven Islands. But don't let her edge fool you, she's a killer. She's taken down some big time opponents. And to our left is Leslie. She's well known for her affection for Eevee and its evolutions. Said that she wants over 100 EV and that she lives with us as companions. <laughs> Alright, anyone has anything to say before the battle begins? Nicole? No? Okay. Well, obviously. Hello, world. I'm here to prove that EV is the ultimate Pokemon. It's incredibly cute and has beautiful and powerful evolutions. It is the greatest. Alright, the stage is set. Let's do this. Nicole versus Leslie. Begin. Nice, yeah, school girl. Or less. Six Pokemon, huh? Starting off with Flareon. Yeah, let's surf it up, baby. Hmm, Jolteon. Ultion is pretty fast. I got plus speed nature, so I'm faster, obviously. And 7 level higher. Vaporeon. Oh, vapor in, huh? Whoa, that was close. Yeah, you missed your heart pump, huh? Yeah, she's gonna heal. So I'm just gonna shadow ball her. Shadow Ball heal because it's actually male. Alright, nice job. Espion, hmm. Let's just stay. Let's see what we can do. I'll show you right. We should be able. Right? Yeah. Ooh, Glacian. Yeah, you can see also I know what are his good stats. His good stats are defense and special attack. So I'm going to special attack on him. And they have the cries. The correct cries, that's surprising. No, my 
beautiful evolutions. How? I mean, wow. What an incredible display by Nicole and her Pokemon. That was impressive. I said it's her best, but she could not overcome Nicole's powerful Pokemon. I pulled back the top from you too. You are better than me, Nicole. Maybe Eevee aren't so strong. But they are still. But they still are super sexy. <laughs> How the fuck? I think I all agree with that. Right. We are Nicole to win and advance to the next round. I need both competitors to leave so our next battles can come in. Yeah, it's actually really nice. And we'll take the other battle. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Come back, viewers. We are Leo at the tourney. Second round has been fun so far, and we got another great battle for you guys. Okay. Got Nico and Mr. Assassin from several rounds. She's dressed as this pose of some Eevee, Eevee fan girl. The competition is different because of battle to my left, Rios. He's battling tournament on multiple occasions and even going as far as the Sweet 16. <laughs> and he looks as good as ever in a comeback victory over Jim. So before we go at it, does anyone have anything to say? More fight to remain silent as they are focused on the battle. Alright, let's do this. Rios versus Nico. Begin. A cool train. Ooh, starting off with the card war, that's pretty nasty. Card war is slower than Wolverine, that's surprising. Oh well. Good old victory now, huh? Fire punch. Aggro. Interesting. There we go. Four times effective. Oh, the brick break would be too. Hmm, Taurus. Well. I won't be one to take this guy, that's for sure. It's threshing. Hmm, you don't healing, that's surprising. I thought he's gonna heal, but nope. Let's see if I can watch on you. Nope. Whoa, hyper beam. It's gonna be my dead. Or maybe not. Sweet. Good job staying alive, Pinsir. Yeah, I can go to each other anyway. But I'm faster. Poorly too, huh? This guy's pretty tanky as well. He'll probably survive the Thunderbolt like nothing. Maybe not like nothing, maybe like a bit. 
orange or red HP. Yeah. And it's definitely gonna heal now. Whoa, nice crit. Classic full stores, huh? to lose but they're really good. Whoa, now nah, Nicole is again. We just tried to make it tough on her but it didn't matter. Just love watching her and her Pokemon battle. Such a smart trainer with tough Pokemon. So I guess you two will continue to stay quiet. Now oh, I have something to say to Nicole. I've seen a lot of trainers over the years and you are as tough as any of them. But you ain't seen nothing yet. Okay. Congratulations to Nicole. She is part of the field of powerful newcomers who are making tons of noise in this tournament. Nicole advanced to a round of 16. Alright you two, please leave so our next battles can come in. And come on. Right. It and let's go. Okay, let's start. We are back with more live action from the Pokemon tournament. I'm Mike blocking me out. This has been a great tourney so far. I started at 64 trainers, but there are now only 6 trainers remaining. I've been a remarkable president of first time participant. Particip Participants do dominating this tournament so far, and these two trainers are great examples of this. Over here we have Nicole. She's shown of her skills as, as an assassin. And to my left we have Sun. In the Mister Ninja who decimated his first two opponents. All right, you two. Know what time it is? Speak now or forever hold the peace. I am a dead ninja. Oh, dead ninja. I am enemy of the outlaw and a student of Lance. In all chat, the outlaw defeated me and my family in battle. This shame caused my father and older sister to come and step <laughs> I decided to win this tournament so I can get a chance to adventure against the outlaw. Oh, what a scary backstory. I think it's time to get this show on the road. It's Assassin vs Ninja. Nicole vs. Sun. Begin. Number 5 Pokemon, which is surprising. Oh, it's fucking Zangles. Oh, it's setting up already. Well, I'm trying to use like Crush Claw or something like that. He won't take down Moray. Moray is just too tanky for him. My cargo. Yeah, I'll just help. Gengar versus Gengar. Let's make it so. Also, my sh should be definitely faster. There we go. 
gonna go to all Caesar. Flame through his ass. There we go. And ninja is come. Of course he's super fast. I am disgrace. Incredible. Nicole's run it's continuous. She completely stops on momentum. Nicole and her Pokemon were just at an another level. So, any comment from the competitors? Nicole? Quite as usual. How about you, son? Well, son looks a little depressed. Yeah, okay, well, Nicole is the winner and advanced to the court farmers. So now, get out of here so the next battles can come on. Alright, let's do this. Kinda looks like Cyrus, but probably not Cyrus. Hello Tower is in Kanto and around the world. I am Mike looking me out and this is the Pokemon League journey. We are now down to our final 8 battles in what has been a thrilling tournament. And right here we have two awesome battles. First we have Nicole. She wasn't too well known before the tourney, but she's turned a few heads here. She'll start battle with Ulitz, an impressive team of Pokemon. To my left is it our German newcomer Amanda. She's from a distant region and is a strange foreign Pokemon that I never I've never seen before. Her Pokemon have been dominating this tournament. She's beaten nearly every Pokemon she's faced with a single blow. These two trainers have been quite old tournament, but as a member of the media I have to ask, does anyone have anything to say before the match? I do. And for the record I am not a quiet person. It's just that competition so far has been subpar. I don't want to waste my brain on such weaklings, but this opponent is worth my time. Not many people can take down a group like Sal and Crown family. But even you don't stand a chance, Nico. I have traveled all over the world gathering this Pokemon. I have seen societies far more super advanced than simple Kanto. Kanto and his Pokemon are inferior. I will win this tournament easily. We'll see about that. Whoa, what a statement. I'm really pumped for this battle now. Anyone need a level f me out? Haha. <laughs> Let's get to it. Nico versus Amanda. Win the girls to the final four. Begin. Hmm, nice custom surprise. I would say it's modified Jasmine sprite, but I'm not 100 sure. Or she's from the other generation. They are the fucking uh, sixth generation Pokemon. So she might be from the sixth generation. I don't know the sixth generation at, uh, very well, so it might be it. A dog fox I know is fire and psychic. I'm pretty sure about that. Oh, already rolling with special defense, huh? But yeah, psychic is your definitely your best bet against me. And that's fucking dog fox around like with one HP, I bet. Not now. No more weird cry. Stoutland. Mm. I remember correctly that is the fifth Pokemon that big dog, stupid. That stupid big dog. They like Cheren used to have, right? Yeah. He got, of course, Intimidate. Let's see how much Brick Break will do, hopefully, over half. Yeah, good. Hmm, strength. Interesting.
So that was 5th gen Pokemon. Maybe now 4th gen. Ooh, that's 6th gen again, Talonflame. And it's like fire and flying, right? Or flying and fire. Probably flying and fire, right? A little meta, but the same shit. It's the one that Edge have, right? In anime. I'm not watching it, but I know here it. Mm, Cobalion, yeah, that's the fifth gen, the pretty much fifth gen my champ. Cobalion, right? Oh shit. Not really a match amp. Stupid me, but it's fucking uh, fifth gen legendary. I'm going to say still and fighting. And we got Lucario as well. So there's the 4th gen Pokemon. So she has like 2 5th gen, 2 6th gen and 1 4th gen Pokemon. Incredible. Whoa, whoa. What an amazing battle. Two incredible female battles going at it. And Nicole wins it. Nico took to it under low and found a way to win again. So how do you guys feel about the battle? I am simply embarrassed, I was completely wrong. I've rarely seen anyone battle like that. Nico, you and your Pokemon have flawless it. You battle like the original champions and I've seen around the that I've seen around the world. Incredible. You should be really proud of yourself, Nico. She flies, huh? Nico shows some emotion. Nico. You are going to the final four. Congre congratulations. Alright, now get <laughs> the hell out of here. We have more battles to do. SSN. Ooh, it's gold. Live from the Luxury SSN, it's final four of the Pokemon tournament. I'm Mike, the talking me out, and I'm so excited for this intriguing matchup. Allow me to introduce our two competitors. First of all, it's Nicole. No one could have imagined her making it this far. It's been great effort by Nicole so far, but now she has to face gold. One with household name in Johto and even Kato. He's so young and is already known as a legend. He has 6 engine badges from both Kanto and Johto. Like the Outlaw, he has never lost a Pokemon battle. Some experts think that he is on par with the Outlaw. There's no doubt that he is the overwhelming favorite to win this battle and face less in the championship match. Alright, does anyone have anything to say before we start the match? Hi Nico, let's have a great battle. Good luck. Or the class act. Okay, I think everyone wants to get this one started. Gold versus Nico. Begin. Ah, uh, not even Jim the battle. Yeah, this one will be very hard. <laughs> yeah, he's starting with something incredibly nasty. So let's save it. I bet he have a like miracle encounter on him. So I'm trying to paralyze him. But well, he definitely have miracles. There you go. All right. Let's Save it once more. Let's try to strength to take his HP a little bit down. I 
Ja, oh, sitter det berg. Uh, let's heal up. Yeah, let's save it again. Okay, there we go. Meganium. Meganium might have earthquake. So I'm going to save it again. Go with flamethrower. Meganium is pretty bulky on both sides, so flamethrower or fire punch won't take it down in one shot, I think. Yeah. Not even getting the burn. We got to heal straight away. Yes, he will. Megalum with toxic strategy is pretty much here to stall us. Don't fan. Hmm. So far, mostly show the Pokemon. He should get eventually by surf. Special defense is not that great. Yeah. Explosion. Let's say it. Now let's try Wolverine and get him. We probably have like Earthquake and Fire Punch. Uh, not Fire Punch, but Thunder Punch. Yeah, there it is. But shouldn't kill Wolverine. Yeah. Okay, we got another annoying one, aka the mill tank. Let's save it straight away. Let's see how much the brick break will do. Okay, barely over half, which is really good. But he's saving his last and the best one for me right now, right? Yeah, fucking sweet cool. Let's save it. Let's switch to Gengar. This guy is incredibly bulky. But now he's incredibly dead. Is this real life? Oh, yes, it is. He lost. Gold. Karl was completely shocked. I didn't think it was possible for Gold to lose to Nico. Whoa. Gold actually lost. It doesn't seem like it was possible, but Nico has beaten Gold. Whoa. How could this happen? What is this feeling? What is... What is happening? I never lose. I don't know what to say. I don't lose. Ooh, this stinks. Whoa. Go has been used to a little whiny crying bitch. Oop, no one's cursed on live TV. <laughs> Nicole got incredible. Going to the championship match. Guess some rest in the last battle for the, of the tournament. So there